All right, my man, state your name. Let them know you on Nickavelli TV. Oh, yeah, Nickavelli TV, man. Dennis out here, you know, Brooklyn in the building. What's going on? All right, Nick fan? Oh, to the death of me since 94, since the year I was born. Okay, who's your favorite player? Favorite player of the Knicks? Between Jamal Crawford. I'm talking all the time. I'm not talking about right now. Between Jamal Crawford, Patrick Ewing, Starks. And a little bit of Whitney Houston. You know what I'm talking about. Ah, Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. Funny. A little bit of Whitney in there. All right, clarify that. You talk about Alan Whitney. Houston. Okay. <laughs> Alan Houston. Now, when you speak of these Nick plays, man, mm -hmm. who impressed you the most and who got you pissed off? Like, you just wish they wasn't even on the Knicks roster. One of the most impressive players that played on the Knicks rosters in, out of his 10 year career. And personally, my favorite, Kenyon Martin. It's to like come out of his long time then tenure where he did with the Nets and he did with Denver, then to come on the Knicks and still show about having numbers how he was doing, his effectiveness, love Kenyon Martin for that. The person that we should have never got, Baron Davis. That's where you talk about it. Baron Davis. Talk I, to me. Uh, he was too washed up. Yeah. Too washed up by this point. And he couldn't produce. He was no productivity in that. Alright. I, I ain't like it. It was a bad move. Yeah. How did you feel about Chris Porzingis coming to the Knicks? It was a good look. With the mellow era. During the Melo era, I feel like if Melo was a, that's a tricky one. If Stoudemire was never there in the beginning, KP and Melo would have rung out supreme. That's me personally what I think. If Amari was never there, KP could have been that missing piece that the Knicks was looking for that whole time. Now, why do you say that? I feel like uh, Amari and Melo didn't mix. I just feel like their chemistry wasn't there. They had good games, yeah, they was on point with that, but the chemistry was never there. Me personally, I never saw the chemistry. Never seen the chemistry. Not, not, not me personally. Not between Melo and Amari. So you think it was a, a little animosity, like egos clash? It could have been a little bit of ego, with a little bit of top dogs. Yeah, ego. Yeah, the ego. I think it's the ego clash. So you think that Carmelo Anthony didn't benefit coming to the Knicks? Who's better off staying where he was at? He benefited. Amari didn't. The people that they tried to build me around Melo didn't. Well, not all of them didn't fit, I should say. Like, they, 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 when they try to mix them two stars together, that Amari, Melo, they should have had Melo with nothing but a whole bunch of role players and maybe a star guard, but not no big man that you know that's going to really score, that's used to scoring and taking over in the clutch moments like a Melo. Hmm. You know? Okay, now when we speak of point guards, mm -hmm. you got Frank Nilekina, you got Kevin Knox, you got mm -hmm. Alfred Payton. Right. I mean... Let's get to the point of things, man. They even talking about Chris Paul coming back. Some say he's over the hill. What you need with a guard that's 35 plus years of age, been in the league, but that man still got some game. I'm about to say they must ain't see Chris Paul last season. <laughs> I don't mind Chris Paul. Um, I don't. I don't knock Knox, Payton, Lakina, none of them. Don't knock them at all. But as in to have that great veteran presence, now that's a great veteran presence that's still productive compared to a Baron Davis. Chris Paul still active, still putting up bars, assists, numbers, whatever you want him to do, he can do it. A triple double maybe if you want to. That's a point guard that you need to have on a team to coach these younger upper players like Nick Nikina. So you Nick say Nick he'll Knox. have a kind of role like Jared Jack? With yes. Jared yeah, yeah. Sound like a Jared Jack role. But with a but a little but a little bit more leadership qualities. Okay, now do you think that would improve all Do you think that would improve RJ Barrett's game? RJ Barrett game, uh, RJ Barrett just got to improve with his confidence. Yeah. He just got he just got, he just got to build more confidence. RJ Barrett is a great player overall. He just got to get his confidence. So he's still young. Now what do you say to people who say RJ Barrett can't play off the left? I mean play off the right. Off the he's right. a left. Yeah, he left he play off the right. He got he got to work on it. Uh, to me, what I noticed about basketball players individually, lefties are the most dangerous players out here, period. Yeah. So, he a lefty, he already a problem. Let him build up his right, y'all gonna hate him for real. <laughs> okay. gonna hate him for real. And Mitchell Robinson. Big man. Big man in the future. Yeah? Big man in the future. I like I like Robinson. You think the Knicks gonna give him that extension? They need to. They need to. Stop giving away all your, all your young talent just because they ain't produced one in two years. Let them grow. It's an organization we're supposed to build our roster up. Yeah? Yeah. That's what this Nick hater over no, here be no. saying. <laughs> That's what this Nick hater. My man got a point there. But the whole thing with the Knicks, they got a bunch of goddamn superstars that don't want to play the fucking game together. Fuck all of them. You understand? <laughs> they all good, but they don't want to play together. together. They too fucking selfish. All right. And back to my man. Thing. 
All right. That's a, that's a, that's a key. That's a little point. It ain't a big point, but that's a key point. They are selfish as a, as individuals. They don't. They play. They play. They don't play team ball. They play for self. Everybody want to shine. Just then, they're like when Jason Kidd was there. Mm -hmm. Niggas ain't had no choice but to pass the ball and and, and shatter around and uh, pass that ball around. Cause you got the floor general on the floor. You need a real floor general to make the shit shake. All right, man. And when it comes to Kevin Knox or Frank Nilakina, think Kevin Knox gonna have a future with the Knicks? Do you think this is gonna be his breakout season? Knox, yeah. I feel like they're gonna treat Nilakina how they did Hardaway Jr. Explain. They're gonna get rid of him. Too inconsistent. I like Nilakina, but looking on some Dolan standpoint, I feel like they're gonna get rid of him. Wow. Off, the, off the inconsistency. I don't want it to happen, right. but I feel like that's what they're going to do. That's what I feel like they're going to go on that route, even, if not this season, next season. All right, man. With that being said, I want to thank mm -hmm. you for coming on Nick Cavelli TV where we talk Nick basketball, man. All day, man. All Nick day. Nation. Y'all know where we at. And with that, we out. Nick Cavelli TV.